All right, diving right into the Art of War, <clears throat> March 18th, another episode of Stand Tall. <clears throat> we are in Chapter 9, The Army on the March. If you are anxious to fight, you should not go to meet the invader near a river which he has to cross. And number 6, moor your craft higher up than the enemy and facing the sun. Do not move upstream to meet the enemy. So much for river warfare. It's very interesting. Do not move upstream to meet the enemy. So, like, as of just now, I'm not saying my clients are my enemy, but there is a repeat client who's a little shocked about the amount of um, the invoice has gone up because of labor and inflation and wanted the work done for the price that it was done for two years ago. And when many factors have changed, we've had to, to raise our prices. And so he's saying that he's going to dispute it and, and all of this other stuff. And, and instead of like moving upstream to meet the enemy and fighting this, I'm just saying, you know, dude, it's like not even $500. Like I, like there's not enough worth in this for me. If you just want to screw a small business owner, go for it because you know, things change, companies grow and mistakes are corrected. And you know, when I, when I first started out a lot of mistakes were made in, in pricing and underpricing and now pricing isn't underpriced um so yeah and, and instead of fighting this out over what is like really hardly any money at all there's there's more there's more things that i could be putting my time and effort into that are more fruitful and so kind of the same thing don't and especially in a river when the terrain is rough so let's go over to an alternate translation and see what Master Sun says. You induce the enemy to cross the river, right? Um, Master Sun says, when you want to fight, do not face an enemy near water. Watch the light, stay in high places, do not face the current of the water. This applies to an army on water. So GLN says, in a river basin, your armies can be flooded out and poison can be put into the streams. Facing the current means heading against the flow. Dumu says that it also means your boats should not be moored downstream, lest the enemy ride the current right over to you. So when you are forced to do battle on perilous ter terrain, which could be any day of the week, we don't know what's coming and what we're going to have to deal with next. And so, you know, always know that that there's more coming or where is the sun, right? Where is where is the job coming from? There's There's just more to do and more to worry about. And so don't go and meet every challenge head on because it's simply just not worth it. And so let's go over now to the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman for March 18th. Impossible without your consent. Today, I escaped from the crush of circumstances. Or better put, I threw them out. For the crush wasn't from outside me, but in my own assumptions. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 9.13. On tough days, we might say my work is overwhelming or my boss is really frustrated. If only we could understand that this is impossible. Someone can't frustrate you. Work can't overwhelm you. These are external objects and they have no access to your mind. These emotions you feel as real as they are come from the inside, not the outside. The Stoics use the word hypolepsis, which means taking up of perceptions, thoughts, and judgments by our mind. What we assume, what we willingly generate in our mind, that's on us. We can't blame other people for making us feel stressed or frustrated any more than we can blame them for our jealousy. The cause is within us. They're just the target. Impossible without your consent. Right? Taking up of perceptions, thoughts, and judgments by our mind. What we assume, what we willingly generate in our mind, that's on us. We can't blame making other people for making us feel a certain way, whether it's stressed or frustrated. Right? Because it's on us. Whatever we say to ourselves, our internal monologue at the end of the day is on us. Um, and I think a lot of that is very difficult for, for many people because I don't know about other people, but being depressed and having clinical depression because of a birth mother who took uh, lithium when you know I was in the womb, it, it does make for some really tough days of of mental struggles and, and not wanting to even be on this earth anymore and you overcome that and and that's ultimately on you and i think that's why stoicism and the art of war has given me so much ground to fall back on is because no matter what this is just the state that i'm in and the positive and the negative happen so quickly day in and day out 
that now I'm kind of used to this roller coaster ride of what is life. And I don't think there's ever going to be necessarily an equilibrium. But part of that's been achieved by following, right, what Sun Tzu said, and like, don't meet people in the middle of a river, don't go towards the enemy, right, especially if you're on unsolid ground. And so there's just things to do, ways to move forward, and professional better ways to handle things.